I have experienced one of the worst T20 innings ever in the history of the cricket, ever in the history of the IPL, ever in the history of 12 years, ever. This is the worst T20 innings played by the Kedar freaking Jado. Worst T20 innings. 7.8 crores. 7.8 crores paid to that fellow and he's playing 12 balls 7 runs. 12 balls 7 runs. When the team requires 18 balls 39 runs. 18 balls 39 runs was required. He's playing tuk 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 tuk. Tuk 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 tuk. Single single single. Singles also is not taking. Only is playing dot balls, dot balls, dot balls, dot balls. 7.8 crores was given just to play the dot balls. Not to time the ball to the boundaries or sixes. Not to take the twos. Even single is denying. Even single is denying. Means seriously. He's a liability in the team of CSK. He's a liability. Can't even field. Can't even uh, uh, run properly between the wickets. Can't even convert twos to threes. Can't even convert singles to twos. Only he can hit shots and if uh, shots are not timing properly then he's absolutely useless to the team. Absolutely useless. And they say that he's a part time keeper it seems. That also he can't keep. That also he can't keep. MS Dhoni is a keeper. So what is his role in the team? What is his role in the team? His role in the team is minus zero to the power universe. Nothing. Absolutely nothing is the role. His role is. So basically he's a liability and he's a nonsense to the CSK team. Absolute nonsense to the CSK team. And to deal with nonsense players. A flight has to be booked from Dubai to India and he should be on that flight straight back to India. After that innings, he should be sent back straight to India. Absolute horrendous innings, rubbish innings, nonsense innings. No attempt to hit fours and sixes. No sign, nothing. At least a player, if he tries to hit a ball and get caught in the mid wicket or deep square leg or third man, at least if they get caught while trying at least to hit the ball for a boundaries or sixes, then we could have understood that yes, this man is at least trying. But this fellow, absolute nonsense, absolute nonsense. Even previous uh, matches also, 10 balls, 3 runs he's scoring. Then uh, 16 runs of 20 balls he's scoring. Then uh, 26 balls, 22 runs he's scoring. Means marginal, marginal. 7.8 crores for what? I don't understand. 7.8 crores. Instead of that, if 7.8 crores was uh, given on the bank, the interest would have been much more useful to the owners. That's what I feel. Honestly speaking, only two reasons I can find today why KKR actually won the match. First thing first is that Rahul Tripathi. The CSK bowlers prepared for Russell, Morgan and uh, many Dinesh Karthik and all these firepower batsmen. But this uh, Rahul Tripathi came out of syllabus, that's it. Came out of syllabus. Fabulous, amazing innings, you know. He played an amazing innings. Half of KKR runs, he only scored. 80 runs, he scored. Half of KKR runs, he only scored. And this guy was not even given chance in the first four matches. In the first four matches, he was not even given chance. Why? For what? Really, I don't understand. He's such a talented player. And even last match also, he was playing lower order batsman. Pat Cummins was coming ahead of him. I don't know what type of uh, decision was that. Today, he got his chance. Because of his last innings only, he got his chance today. And he proved his worth. He's proved that uh, hum kisi se kam nahi hai. Like that he proved. Brilliant innings. Fabulous innings. Rahul Tripathi. Because of him only, today KKR won the match. Because of him only, KKR got some runs on the board. And second reason I can find is that this Kedar Jadav's awful innings. 90 runs was required in the 10 overs. 90 runs was required. And still K uh, CSK couldn't chase it. Seriously, they'll be kicking themselves. It was CSK's match to win today. But instead, they lost the match. Jadav lost the match for CSK. And, and really, I'm flabbergasted and shocked that how this player, Kedar Jadav, who is in terrible form, who is not even striking the ball one inch also, it is not even hitting the ball toe of his bat properly, and who is in the mood of defensive mode, tuck, 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 merchant he is, who is in such mood, gets promoted ahead of Jadeja, who strikes the ball brilliantly, and ahead of Bravo. How can he go ahead of uh, Bravo and Jadeja? Really, I don't understand. Strange, strange really.